All right, so these are going to be viewer requests, and we've got uh, three folks, really one person and a couple, that we're going to talk about. It's going to be Faza, uh, the Crown Prince of Dubai. It's going to be Five of BTS, and it's going to be Jenny of Black Pink. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So I have to admit, none of these people do I know much about. Faz, I've done a few readings on him, so I've just looked him up in Wiki, which is what I've done today. And then uh, Five from BTS, same thing, his name's Kim. And then uh, Jenny from Blackpink is Jenny Kim, by coincidence. But uh, I'll tell you a little bit that I know uh, about uh, Faza. So he's Hamdan bin Muhammad bin Rashad al Maktoum, born 14th of November 1982. He's an Emirati royal and pol politician who's been the crown prince of Dubai since 2008. He's known as Fazda, Faza, F A Z Z A, where he publishes his his poetry under that uh, under that moniker. And that's not, and that means in Arabic the one who helps. He's an equestrian and a multiple world champion. And he's the second son of their 12 children being uh, his dad and his mom, and the fourth of his father's children, but he's the third son of his father, if you could follow all of that. So that's uh, Faza. Now, if you're going to talk about BTS and Five. Uh, so his name is actually Kim Tai Young. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. And he's known professionally as Five, you know, the Roman uh, numeral V. Um, he was born on December 30th, 1995 in the Seoul so district of Daegu. I'm pronouncing all that incorrectly. And he grew up in Jiuchang County. He's the eldest of three children with a younger brother and a sister. And he began taking saxophone lessons in early middle school to kind of pursue his musical career. And then um, he graduated with a major in broadcasting and entertainment. And he's pursuing a master of business administration and advertising and media. So interesting guy. And then the last one is uh, Jenny uh, Singer, she, who's a singer, and she's Jenny from Black Pink. Her name is Jenny Kim. She's born uh, January 16th of 1996 and uh, is a South Korean singer and rapper. She was born and raised in South Korea and studied in New Zealand for five years and left when she was about eight. And, uh, but then eventually returned back to South Korea. And um, she acts under the stage name Jenny Ruby Jane. But she's an only child, and what's interesting is when they were in New Zealand, her mother planned to move back, move her to Florida in the United States uh, at the age of 14 to continue her studies to become a lawyer or a teacher. But uh, she ended up, they ended up going back to uh, South Korea. Uh, she is fluent in English, and of course her native Korean. Uh, she knows basic Japanese, and she has learned French. So another interesting, multifaceted person. All these folks are full-rounded people, it seems like, in their own right, and also now famous. So this should be interesting. Well, let's see how all this works out. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is Faza. So he's known as Faza. That's how he publishes his poetry. And also known as Faz backwards three. And Faza in Arabic means the one who helps. So that's nice. And Crown Prince, although he's not the first uh, son, he's the one that got chosen for whatever reason. I don't know. And uh, But, you know, educated beautifully and seems to be a sensitive, nice guy. Uh, what else could you want? So that's five. And then BTS, number five, uh, is Kim. And again, good education. You know, his goal was always to be famous, and he did that. The same as uh, Jenny from Blackpink. Again, you know, that was her goal. That's what she set out to do, and she did it. And she also is a well-rounded, educated, and intelligent person. But before we do any of that stuff, let's have just a moment of meditation, because I think we're going to need it. Okay, 
So what was the question about Fuzz? I guess it was just an update is what someone said. They said it's time for an update on uh, Crown, the Crown Prince of Dubai. So we'll do that. Let's do six cards to see if the cards can tell us uh, where he's at. I know his twins just celebrated a birthday in May. And um, I don't recall how old they are. Maybe two, three, four, I don't know. And um, so maybe two. So anyway, Faza, what can the cards tell us about you? Six cards. One, two, three. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And then number six. And remember, I'll tell you about these cards uh, towards the end of the video if you're interested to know more about them. So six cards about Faza. The signifier card. Well, this is interesting. This is the one, two, three, four of pentacles. And the four of pentacles is typically, you know, trying to hold on to your worth. So that's interesting. I wonder if he's more trying to hold on to his self, who he is, before he becomes uh, crown prince. I mean, that could be some time away anyway, but that's the signifier card. The four of pentacles holding on to your value. That's where he seems to be at right now. The challenge to that is the Page of Swords, and we always know that swords are truth, justice, rules, and law. And the Page is a messenger. It could be a spy, actually, uh, around him. But uh, typically, uh, the uh, Page is just bringing a message to the um, to the court to say, you know, this is what I'm telling you about truth, justice, rules, and law. This is maybe something you could use. And so the challenge to him holding on to his value is that in that royal scenario, even though he's the crown prince, he has no... Although he's holding some important offices, don't get me wrong, besides waiting to be the, the, the king, I guess it is, of Dubai. Uh, but uh, but his, his actual authority is no more than that of a page. Uh, representing truth, justice, rules, and law, though, so that's good. The basis of this for uh, Faza oh, is his less, lesser intention, El Diablo. So the base of this whole thing, what his caution needs to be, is getting caught up in lesser intention, getting caught up in devilish uh, situations. The past of this is a great big uh, wand, which is actions, plans, forward movement. This is the ace. And this is very interesting. So if you look at this carefully, you can see we've got four hands in here wanting to grab on to this uh, action, this plan, this very fruitful situation. This one's playing cards. Uh, two of them already have their, their grip and um, so this is an interesting situation, but that's in the past. So the plans that had to be made, whoever was going to have something to do with that, the plans are made. It's done. That's in the past. And what's going to happen is going to happen. He needs to mold his being, his life around the plans that are done. In the sky of this is, look at that, a great big ace of cups. So that's good because cups are compassion, emotion, and heartfelt situation. And that's what you would want him to have. Um, he has a pleasant countenance and uh, we would want him to have an angelic uh, influence in his life. And then the final outcome for all of this for Prince Faza is the Queen of Coins is that, yeah, there'll be a strong feminine uh, energy uh, maintaining his value uh, behind the scenes. And so that's what he can count on. So his, his situation is moving forward exactly as it should with a, a nice, strong feminine energy behind him until bigger things come along. Now, BTS 5, BTS what can the cards tell us about him and how things are going to go for him? BTS 5. And really, we want to consider BTS 5 with Jenny from Blackpink. So Kim and Jenny Kim. Uh, because uh, some think that they're going to be a couple. So I'm going to do, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do three cards on BTS 5, three cards on Jenny and Kim, and then see where that takes us. So three cards on BTS 5. Kim, one, two, three. Three card BTS 5 and really specifically about relationships is kind of where we want to go with this. So signifier card, there's a plan. That's the Ace of Wands. There's a plan. And ah, so how many swords do we have here? This is probably the nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of swords. Swords, truth, justice, rules, and law. And the nine is caution, is nightmares. Okay, it's it's um, unpleasant, um, you know, omens. And then the final outcome of this, uh, with the Four of Swords, Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law is telling you, you better wait. 
don't move right now. So the plan you may have is fraught with nightmare and it's better just to wait. So if this is talking about marriage, don't do it right now. Jenny. So Jenny, what can the cards tell us about Jenny as far as her and him and marriage? So Jenny, black is black, pink. Jenny, what can the cards tell us about her? Three cards along those same lines. Same lines, Jenny, black, pink. Three cards, one, two, three. Three cards, Jenny, black, pink, relationship wise. First card, you've got to choose which way you're going to go. Okay, the two of swords, truth, justice, rules, law. You need to make a choice. Um, the page of coins, again, is that weak messenger of value. And the final card here being the three of coins is building something for public display of value. So yeah, this is making a choice between personal and career. And this page is very weak. Offer of value, I think, is, is what we're talking about with this marriage. And I think uh, on the other side, is uh, focusing building something for public display which is your career so the two choices you have to make the very weak offer of marriage and the very uh, looks like more valuable offer of building something for public display so both of those are cautionary neither bts5 or jenny gets a recommendation from the cards to go forward with the marriage as far as i can see so that was the cards today. Let me know what you think. Put your thoughts in the comments. Tell me how you feel and tell me what you want me to read about because just like today, I'll read about it. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Okay, so I got these great cards. And if you ever doubted that I'm a sucker for a great packaging of cards, then this will confirm it. So these cards are by famed artist Salvador Dali. He includes himself in uh, the cards and his wife. And they also include uh, examples of some of his artwork and other uh, artists uh, that, that he felt were appropriate for the, for the interpretation. Uh, these cards were created uh, or were um, commissioned in 1973 for the uh, film uh, Live and Let Die. However, uh, Dolly's um, uh, price well, it was, I guess, too much. So contract uh, negotiations broke down. And then finally, 10 years later, by 1984, Dolly completed the tarot deck, 78 cards, and had them published for the first time, limited edition. And now Tostin has re... Um, uh, printed these cards in this amazing uh, box. So when I ordered them, I thought I'd get a box, you know, about this big. And when this thing came in the mail, I was totally shocked. They're not cheap. They're quite expensive. But anyway, so this is an amazing cover. This box is like a, a crushed velvet uh, kind of finish here. And it's just everything, everything, everything that gets me going about tarot card uh, containers, if you can't tell from my excitement. So, and then there's lots on the back here. It's in three different languages. It's in uh, Spanish, in German, and in English. And then the way this thing opens up, it's just like this. And once you get inside, You've got this amazing booklet uh, to describe uh, how uh, something about the cards and how to use them. The booklet is a full color, and then each page has three interpretations of the cards. When I say interpretations, I mean that's English, uh, German, and Spanish. So, um, lovely, lovely book. Amazing. I mean, the price of the cards was, was the, the price that I paid for this was worth it if I only got this book. The one uh, problem I have with it, however, is that it's beautiful, but the first part of this uh, book is uh, a lot that talks about uh, Dolly and how the cards came to be. And as you can see, it's on this dark purple with this gold printing, and I can barely, barely make it out. I'm going to have to use my magnifying glass eventually to read it, but uh, not today. And uh, so I've had these for a few days, and I've been uh, practicing with them. I haven't tried to decipher this yet. It's just too dark, and I've got uh, vision problems that make it just even more complicated. But when you finally get to where they're talking about the cards themselves, it's fantastic because you've got a white background, easy to read. It's a little small, but still it's easy to read because they've gotten everything on one page. And uh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, I'm so glad I got this. It was on a whim. Now the cards look and how they're displayed. The cards themselves come in this really cool gold foil kind of, it's a typical box for tarot cards, but just the design is terrific. And then the cards themselves, I'll take them out here, put the box back, and well, I'll keep this out. And then I'll put this away. But I'll show you the cards quickly um, before we go any further. And I guess I'll have to leave this here so we have something to 
to, to look at. And then uh, here, when you get into the inner sanctum, there's no more uh, instructions inside here. It's just this cool uh, foiled uh, box. And then the cards themselves are terrific. The back is a really beautiful uh, foil looking design. It's not foil, but it's a gold design. And this just simply says Dolly over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. That's the back of the cards. The cards themselves are amazing. So, like I say, they have included some of uh, uh, snippets of Dolly's work and some other artists. And if I was more studious, I would have really studied that and have something to tell you uh, more concrete. But um, they're just absolutely beautiful. On the Magician, you can see uh, Salvador Dali is the face of the Magician. If I find it quickly, I'll show it to you. And on the uh, Empress, that's his wife, uh, Gala, but, uh, which I don't see right away. But um, they're terrific cards. I can't wait to use them. And so there's where we're at. You know, I, I make these, uh, this mess of the cards like this uh, so that uh, you can get a chance to see different cards more completely than just the few uh, cards that a, a, a reader might pull up in, the, in a reading and, um, and enjoy that. And then like I always say, if you're working with someone, I always think it's a good idea to have them spread the cards out like this to kind of get their energy into the cards. And then you know um, that they've got a, a stake in the, in the reading. So Salvador Dali, amazing, worth every penny I paid for these. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again. So, ciao for now.